hello everyone so today i am going to work on this uh, christmas light system in unreal engine 5 so these are splines so i can modify these splines so change the colors or do anything basically and adapt to any type of uh, shape you want to place this so see like this so right and also this is not the only pattern you can have you can have different patterns with many different colors uh, per single sprite so yeah let's see how to implement this this uh, christmas light system today So I hope you remember that I worked on this uh, procedural tools and updated it into Unreal Engine 5 that I originally implemented in Unreal Engine 4. So now I'm going to use this one, this same tool to implement a Christmas light system. So actually that is uh, something I got from one of the patrons as a request and I thought it is something interesting. So yeah all right so for that first we need here let me place one of these procedural objects elements and let's add let me make this draw this spline a bit okay now we have some spline so along this spline i'm going to uh spawn something like a christmas light so first what we need is if i select this actor by default yeah we have this procedural elements so let me add one element here we need a mesh and after we add a mesh we can see those meshes placed along this spline so first uh, uh, i'm gonna use a sphere so since i as i have enabled uh, engine content i can see uh meshes for uh, that is included with it included within the engine but in case you can't see it just place one of these spheres and click on this icon so you will be directed to the place this spheres and other basic object measures are placed so let me make a copy of this sphere into this models folder copy here make sure to copy right and again select this spline uh, the procedural object and use this sphere as the mesh so now you can see these spheres are spawned along the spline but they are not very clear so let me create one material m light i turn this into unlit because these are lights so vector parameter color let's go with something like yellow for now and I'll add an additional parameter. Uh, let's call it intensity. Let's make it five so the light becomes a bit brighter. Now let's assign that material for this model sphere. M light. 
okay now you see that material is used for these spawned spheres so let's make them smaller and so like point one okay maybe point two and let's set the distance in between 50 that's good okay now we have a line of lights so now what okay so basically this is now we have some constant light set of lights and as the next step i want to implement something like some light on and off pattern so for that uh what if i let me select this again index mm. let me duplicate this entry duplicate this sphere sphere one and let's create an instance of this material and set the intensity to zero so this should be like a turned off material now for the second object mesh instead of this one i'll choose this turned off object but and you don't see that because those two are overlapping on one another but if i slightly change this you will start to see that oh wait see now you see that but the problem is uh, i need it like this like uh, one light after another so to achieve that let's say let me reset this back to 50 so they are overlapping on the same so what I want to achieve is the black spheres should start spawning from here so along this line maybe with 25 offset so to implement that we need an additional parameter here so actually i can add some offset but that happens in the world space so for example let me add 20 here see now the the same they are in the same location offset in the world space so that's not exactly what i need what i need is to have an offset along the supply so this uh, if i open this procedural object uh, this is a bit unclear because i have also worked about some time ago so this variable type procedural element so here i need oh here we have a deprecated node that i need to change but let's just implement this first so procedural element we have mesh distance let's add another variable i'll call it spline offset this should be a float Okay. let me move it here after the mesh by default it should be zero and let's add it here here we have a spline offset that should be the place is placing distance start location right 
now let me remove this offset and this spline offset let me make it 25 okay great right now we have one after another this light is on this light is off so if we can change the intensity with the time we should see some pattern so for that let's go to this material here uh, for this intensity if I uh, let's add a sign node and connect time here then let's multiply this intensity with the time and connect like this now you see the material is turning on and off the light is turning on and off Great. So uh, now let me go to the second material instance and intensity. Let me reset it back to the original value. Now all are turning on and off in the same time, but that's not exactly the pattern I need. I need it to look like the lights are moving so here let's do an addition and promote this to a parameter uh, let's call it time offset still same here let's for the time offset let me add one now there should be a difference oh there's no difference oh wait no no We can simply invert this. Ah, wait, no, no. Let me undo this. Apply. Go back here. Right. So this light intensity. Let me bring it back here. Let's try something like. Point one. Okay, point two. Okay, how about point five? Great. Oh, that's six. That's what I wanted. See. Now it looks like movie. so yeah if you want to like make it faster here to this let's add a multiplier here Promote this to a parameter speed light speed. So if I leave it at one, it should be same to it is like this. Great. So yeah, maybe that's too fast. If I make it a decimal value, it should be much slower. See? Okay, so now you get the idea. So all right. So now you can 
make this is plain take any place any shape you want so it basically works like that so yeah with this I'm gonna stop this episode right here and thanks for watching so here is the final version and I'm gonna stop right here so thanks for watching as always project files will be available here for the download in the patron page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron club see you in another episode goodbye